Hey everyone, it's Duke here. In the past videos, we had a look at what the look and feel of the app have after this project. I gave you an introduction on UI Navigation Controller, which allows us to have multiple AVCs or views in our app. In this video, we will dive right into designing our UI for the main view or the playlist view. Let's open up Xcode and create a new project. I will still choose single view application and the name of the app is playlist. I will leave the organization and the organization identifier to be the same. Notice the bundle identifier will be changed with your new app name. The language is still Swift and the devices are iPhone. Let's click next. And I will still leave it temporarily in my desktop, but I would recommend you to put it into the developer directory. Let's start by going to main.storyboard. One thing I want to note is let's look at the size of this view. It's a square, it's kind of like rectangle. And I hope that you still remember that this is for the adaptivity feature Apple wants us to implement so that our UI is adaptive to both the iPad and the iPhone. But in this project, we designed for the iPhone only and it will be nice to have the iPhone-like screen. So let's select the view, the view controller, go over to the attribute inspector, select the size to be iPhone 4 inch, great. Now we have the iPhone, the screen looks like the iPhone. If you look at our project mockup, we have a background image. So let's find the image view in the object palette and drag one to the view. Let's drag it and fill the whole screen using the blue guidelines like this. Great. Now we want to set the background image. What is that image? Good news is I already prepared them for you in the lecture resources so that you can download them. Another good news is you can create your own assets. But for the sake of this tutorial, and it would be nice so that our projects look very alike, and you can actually practice on your own and create your own assets, practice in a different project, okay? After you download the project assets, open the folder to see what is inside. In here, we have two photos. One has the Beatles album covers. The other has some icons and images that we will use in the project. In the Inspirus project, we just select and drag them directly to the project navigator. In this project, I want to show you what is the image.exe assets. This is a very cool and amazing tool to organize all the images and icons we use in our project. So just drag, open the XC assets and drag two photos into the XC assets like this. Great, now you can see that Xcode organizes all the images for us like this. So let's go back to the main.storyboard, change the background image. Let's select the image and over the attribute inspector, type the, type the image to be collage, like this. Screen. Now we have our image set. In the last video, we set an image